Too Hot to Handle Harry is going to get Supercar Blondie tattooed across his forehead. Rolls Royce is making honey, not cars. And a concert has just taken place in quarantine with 12 million people. That's all coming up on the show. Right, I've been looking through your drink requests from the last show. Bubba Theon, he wants an orange juice, righto? Here we go. And Jason Haynes wants a rum and coke. Mate, I might join you on that one. Just take the whole rum bottle, mate. There you go, hope you enjoy the show. Hey guys, what's up? It's Supercar Blondie, welcome to the hangout. Cheers. Hope you got your drinks out. This is gonna be an epic show, promise. Mm, maybe not. <laughs> All right, first up in car news. The unexceptional car show has been postponed. Disappointingly, we won't get to see the most unexceptional and the most run-of-the-mill cars at their annual show until next year, 2021. Take a look at this footage just to get you excited about those boring cars. One of the cars that has really caught my eye is this splendid Citroen BX Estates. Um, which wasn't as good condition mm. as I hoped. And I was looking around and saw this for sale for no reserve and bought it for £900. That's the unexceptional car show that you can look forward to in 2021. But in all seriousness, it's actually become quite a popular show. Lots of people go to it every year. And the point is to shine a light on cars that were quite commonplace in their time, but are now actually quite rare. I have the most incredible footage of Lamborghini's latest concept car, the Vision Gran Turismo. I was meant to go and film this in Italy very recently. Unfortunately, had to cancel that trip because of coronavirus, but check this out. Here is just a teeny weeny tiny bit of that footage that I'm gonna have for you on a YouTube video coming up very soon. Thanks to Marius for sending in that footage. Rolls-Royce may not be making cars at the moment, but they are making something else that's super exclusive, and that is honey. Rolls-Royce has the largest living rooftop in the UK, meaning they have lots of different flowers and plants on the rooftop of their manufacturing plant just for these bees. And each of their beehives actually has a handmade, polished, stainless steel plaque plastered on front of them. These bees are fancy as fuck. Don't get too excited though, because most of us will never get to taste this really fancy bee pollen, nectar, honey. It's so fancy that you can only have a taste of it if you are a guest of Rolls Royce, or you buy one of their cars and you go to Rolls Royce in England to get it customized. Last up in car news, an F1 update for those of you who are massive fans. F1 has confirmed that they want the first race of the season to happen in July in Austria. Now that is the target. Things may change, but that is the latest news. The first few races will be held without fans, unfortunately, but of course you can still watch it on TV. And then later in the year, the plans will be as normal. That's what they want. One in Bahrain and the final of the F1 to be held just an hour away from where I am in Abu Dhabi. All right, guys, this is my new quarantine obsession, Fortnite. Literally what I've been doing for the past six weeks. Let's land on top of this thing here. 12 million people have attended a concert during quarantine. You guys right there? Good babies. How did they get around the social distancing thing? Travis Scott actually held the concert in Fortnite. This game is so popular, you guys, that over 250 million people have downloaded it. All right, here we go. Here's how the concert starts. All right, here we go, here we go. So Travis Scott has just landed in this epic size. Wow, that looks awesome. So he just performs his songs in the game as one of the characters. That's pretty awesome. You can actually play his character in the game. That's quite a cool feature. And you see none of the characters have weapons in their hands. That's because right before the concert starts, your weapons get taken away and you actually get given dance moves instead. So everyone's just like dancing to a concert in there. 12 million people watching this concert in a game. 
Today's call is with two stars from the Netflix dating show called Too Hot to Handle. After we all finished binge watching Tiger King, we needed something else to keep us entertained. Netflix did not disappoint. This retreat is one of the sexiest people in the world. I would rate myself a 10 out of 10. Bring that here, reel it in. This is literally heaven on earth. Cheers to the sexy people. Thanks, guys. They grab a bunch of hot people from around the world and put them in a tropical paradise. They think they're there for a dating show, just a normal dating show. But in order to win the 100 grand prize, they find out... There are conditions to your stay here. Bloody hell! No kissing or sex of any kind. <gasps> oh, shit. The two most talked about people on the show are Harry and Francesca. They got a little bit hot and heavy on the show. And I've been chatting to Harry from LA, he's in Los Angeles at the moment, about how life has changed for him since the show aired. It's kind of nuts because like, I got to watch the whole like Tiger King like become like a global yeah. you know, talking piece. So I've been looking at like the absolute chaos that he's been going through with like just like overnight fame. And I'm like, oh, that looks kind of stressful. And then next, you know, my show comes out and I'm like laying in my bed having like a anxiety attack at like all these like followers and stuff coming to me. I'm like, what, what do I do? Yeah, because you gained like over a million followers in the last week. And 300K today. 300K today. Today. Then I spoke to Harry's reality show girlfriend, Francesca. She's in Canada and she revealed that they're still together. Because it's been like a year in the making if we've had to keep it a secret. So we've seen each other a bunch, but not since quarantine because um, okay. I was planning to go see him and then the travel ban happened. So United States and Canada, like we're not letting people out or in basically. So yeah. I was stuck here and um, yeah, we're basically just waiting for that to be lifted. We've like thought about loopholes and we're trying to figure out a way to like, they're looking at online marriage license and we can like get into the country. I will say hi to Harry for you because I'm about to start. Yes, please. Yes, okay, of course. How many message you want me to pass along? Just tell him that I love him and I miss him. I just spoke to your girlfriend, Francesca. Yes. And she says that she loves you and that she wants to marry you. So are you down? Yeah, absolutely. I, I, oh, I thought that was going to be a drama then. For I'm a glad that's Good. how the proposal went down. That's perfect. That's <laughs> how I dreamed of it. Just, just over video <laughs> chat via someone else. Isn't that the perfect proposal? Oh, absolutely yeah. amazing. <laughs> Going into this show, you had no idea actually that you wouldn't be allowed to touch each other, nothing. At what point did you find that out? Was that genuine surprise on the show when you found out? how it was said was like real slow and suspenseful and i remember just going white my stomach sinking and i just i was like i had to leave because i was crying <laughs> <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> but then you're like screw it whatever i'm gonna do what i want so talking cars mm -hmm. uh yeah. we saw that you and francesca kind of uploaded a similar photo or well, with the same car anyway with the green aventador s last year Oof. yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> oof, yeah. Um, a bit of a big wave <laughs> kind of did some digging, but it's fine. Um, <laughs> it's fine. What's the deal with the Aventador? Did you guys just rent that for a day or is that your car or? Oh, no, no, I'm not. I'm not balling like that. Um, no. it, it was, so French, when I went and visited Francesca, she's like, hey, like, um, these guys are going to let us, you know, use a car for your birthday. All we have to do is like a photo shoot with them. Yep. And I was like, sweet as, like, cool. Like, yeah. I've never, at that point, I'd never driven like a Lamborghini or anything like that. So yeah. I was like, the best. And I was super excited. But my favorite car to drive is, I, I rented one for a bit when I was here, is a Lamborghini Urus. Oh, yeah. I, I um, love the Lambo truck. If you were to get any car in the world right now, that's the one you would buy? Oh, 100%. So okay. I actually, okay, so this silly hand tattoo, I actually haven't explained this to anyone because no one's asked. Right? So yeah. I've got, Zuru on my okay. knuckles. So Zuru Toys is like a global company. It's my one of my best friends, and it's kind of crazy. You look like um, Anna, who's who is the, one of the owners. But um, anyway, we're at dinner when she was here, and I was like, oh, I want to get into like a, I want to call someone out. Like I want to call a YouTuber out and like go for a boxing match. Uh, but I was like, I don't want to like half-ass it. Like I want to make sure I have like the best team behind me. And she's like, oh my god, maybe you should like 
get like Floyd Mayweather's team and I was like ha ha well if you pay for it then yeah, yeah. I'll get your company's tattooed on me and she's like okay sweet and I was like oh okay cool so I went and like we're at dinner we've had two spicy margaritas we go down to the tattoo store like here in LA I get it across my knuckles and she's just like I've got so much love for you I don't know what's going on um so that was like so Dude, and then I said to her you're a advertisement you're literally like I am. what but this company you doesn't get across need it. your forehead. I mean, what are you saving the forehead space for? Advertising. I think I was a supercar blondie. Oh, brilliant! There. Love it, love it. Yeah. The checks in the mail, mate. Yeah. Well, so yeah. the reason the reason why I got the like so if the fight doesn't go through if I don't go and do a boxing match with someone, she's gonna get me a Lamborghini truck. So I'm kind of like, sweet. What a deal. Yeah. Love yeah, it. So that's that. Oh, <laughs> that's that story. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> All right, that's your update with Too Hot to Handle. If you haven't seen it, go put some time aside. It is really absolute trash, but so good to watch. Answering your questions. Thank you guys so, so much for sending these in. This one's from Scott David Jansen Jr. on Instagram. And he's written, after this pandemic is over, do you plan on purchasing another vehicle? I do. Um, I've had Lucy. This is kind of my mini Lucy. That's what a Lamborghini sounds like. Um, I've had Lucy. She was my first ever supercar. Loved her a bit. Still love her. Um, but I've had her for two years now. So time to move on. Catch it. <laughs> uh, Lucy's out of the picture. And so my next car, I'm really wanting a Rolls Royce like badly a wraith because i think they're super sexy really sleek uh and kind of the most sporty looking rolls royce so i'm actually kind of looking around for one right now and i'm going to keep you guys up to date i saw two yesterday i'm going to go and film them again uh and i want your opinion on that now a question from facebook rick fisher you're a breath of fresh air thank you love your programs thanks man uh here's my question have you ever accidentally scratched one of those uh, expensive cars you drive? Lol, I would freak out getting in some of those. I freak out too, honestly. I'm like, oh my God, why are people giving me these cars? Unbelievably, I've never scratched one of them. Nothing has ever happened. Touch wood. Um, oh my God, there's... Oh yeah. <laughs> I, I, I honestly like I, I'm quite a good driver I have to, I mean I think I'm quite a good driver don't we all why is it not working for me now Woo! did you hear that are we ready for some nitrous action all right I'll just go around this corner hang on hang on I do shit myself sometimes uh, driving around five million dollar cars if you have any questions for me just pop them in the comments section underneath this video I would love to read through them I'll be answering your questions every single week on the show that's it love you guys please subscribe to the channel like the video give me some love I really really appreciate it I appreciate you all right until next time bye we're out